Airbnb has risen up the ranks of the hospitality industry to provide easy accommodations to travelers across the world. However, is the process too easy to abuse? The most outstanding Airbnb scandal of late involves two tenants in Queens who turned their three-bedroom apartment into ten bedrooms and have been subleasing their additional beds on the Airbnb website. While the landlord discovered the renovations from neighbors, he's been having difficulties evicting his tenants and their Airbnb guests. This isn't anything new. In New York, 55 of Airbnb's users are renting out their entire apartments while they're gone, rather than a single room when they're present, which for most residents is against the law. To protect yourself from the possibility of unlawful subletting, you should do the following. Review your lease language. Perform physical and online checks. While you should be wary of your tenants illegally listing your property on Airbnb, subleasing isn't entirely bad. Although many unknowingly sublet illegally, as long as they get written consent by their landlord, as per the lease, the action no longer becomes illegal. So if your tenant comes to you wanting to sublet your property, go for it, but with one extra condition, background screening. By making screening a requirement for subleasing, you ensure not only that your property and tenant is safe from potential criminals, but it also provides your tenant objective data to avoid discrimination and aligns your tenant's subleasing practices to the fair housing requirements. Whether your tenant is honest and asks if they can sublease, or is dishonest and unlawfully lists your property on Airbnb, Understanding what you can and can't legally do will help shape your actions in the future. For more information, read the full article.